हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो ह्यूमन बॉडी और द लार्जर कॉस्मिक बॉडी आर एसेंशियली मेड ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स कॉल्ड पंचभूतास दे आर अर्थ वाटर फायर एयर एंड आकाश अर्थ इज द मोस्ट बेसिक एंड स्टेबल ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स व्हेन इट कम्स टू एनर्जी सिस्टम एंड चक्रास इन आर बॉडी द अर्थ एलिमेंट इज एसोसिएटेड विद द मूलाधारा so friends if you want to live well you should have contact with the earth you live on today we have lost this contact and this can lead to many diseases weaknesses and ultimately destabilization of the system itself so friends if you want to stay healthy physically and mentally then it's very important that we work barefoot and bare hands in with the soil and i think gardening is one of the methods that serves this purpose so friends since we have started gardening and spending most of our time outdoors let me tell you it has enhanced my perception of life improved clarity of thought brought more joy and also inner order so friends my husband who has a passion for gardening had planted many seeds of different varieties and took great care and which resulted into a beautiful gorgeous vegetable garden in our backyard also friends one more thing last year we had a greenhouse in our backyard but this year we had to remove it due to hoa issues and also in my previous video gardening with kids i have shared how gardening will help kids in their overall development if you haven't watched the video i have updated the links in the description box below please do check it out so friends in this video i am going to take you on a tour to each and every plant in our garden and share our harvesting experiences along the way i'll be discussing benefits of gardening with kids also stay tuned till the end of this video to find out our garden to table recipes and how we had cherished memories relishing those fresh vegetables picked up from our garden in our backyard hi friends it's me sonia from inner order and joy where we help parents understand how kids develop and also help parents to educate themselves to nurture their kids into more sensible and wonderful human beings and friends if you are new here and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you get a notification when i publish my next video and for more everyday updates follow me on instagram please find the links in the description box below So friends this is our backyard where we have our beautiful vegetable garden Firstly we have sown seeds in these biodegradable seedling pots in the month of June and once the baby plants came out we transferred them to bigger pots These are called earth box containers If you are a gardener especially in the state like Colorado I highly recommend these earth box containers because there is always water in the bottom compartment of the earth box and it is easy for the roots to absorb water whenever they are in need of it's not any paid promotion it is purely my recommendation based on our gardening experience so let's get started with the garden tour so friends we have bush beans here and also indian broad beans and in this box we have zucchini and cucumber and over here in this box are my son's favorite bitter gourd and over this corner in this earth box we have bottle gourd all these baby plants are of bottle gourd and in the next earth box we have tomato plants and then comes corn plants and in the next earth box we have planted okra and finally in this earth box we have planted again bush beans and indian broad beans Here in Colorado where we live during summer it will be very windy sometimes. Here if you have noticed this baby plant is broken when it is very strong wind these baby plants cannot withstand the speed and they break. That's the reason my husband has tied them to the sticks to support them. Also friends we have three garden beds made by my husband using the same wood of the greenhouse that we have removed this year. In these beds we have directly sown carrot seeds, radishes and potatoes. In the second bed we have planted mint plants looking a lot better than the last year. We also have planted spinach seeds but this year they didn't do well but last year we had a good harvest of spinach. And in some other pots we have planted 
jalapenos, methi seeds, tomatoes, strawberries and we have sown all these seeds in first week of June and my kids absolutely had so much fun harvesting them on different days between the last week of August and the first week of September. So friends that completes our garden tour and stay tuned if you wish go grab a coffee or an Indian chai as now I'm going to share a few glimpses of my kids joyfully harvesting all these vegetables and also I'll be discussing along the way the benefits of gardening with kids. Oh yes, let's begin. I'm so excited for this Beans. part. Last year they came bigger, one's about this big. Yeah. Last year they came like this big. Yeah. Whoa, so many beans. You see this? There's more over here. How's it? Yeah. So friends, starting with harvesting beans, Shiva loves to pick them up. He actually eagerly waits to harvest and look at those beautiful beans. Next, moving on to harvesting Indian broad beans. Generally, we finish our breakfast and then head outside to the garden before it gets too hot. As Shiva is in school, so it's Ram's turn to harvest. So far, this is our favorite one. We have harvested so much of these Indian broad beans. Moving on to next one, harvesting zucchini. Gardening is a healthy and joyful activity for children. Children develop new skills like observational skills, build their self-confidence and learn about science and nature from growing their own food. Shiva loves to harvest so much that on his first day of school, he did collect these zucchinis and then went to school. So friends, every day we used to spend some time in our garden observing these plants closely, discussing how these plants were growing. Here you can notice Shiva's observational skills and Ram getting excited to see a honeybee. Yeah. And this one Shiva? What? what did you observe this plant? This is uh, zucchini. Yeah. Can you show me zucchini? In the, morning? in the morning they're opening, in the evening they're closing up. Oh. Here you can notice that the flower is closed and it blooms again in the morning. Look how gorgeous this flower is. You see those bees? And my younger son Ram's most favorite thing to do is to have fun listening songs. This is his favorite song, Believer. If you notice, he's walking towards the phone to figure out why did it stop playing. Wow, how joyful kids are at this age. Alright, now let's move on to harvesting bitter gourd and learn some more benefits of gardening with kids. One, four, two, where? One more? Three, four. Which the one karda. are you eagerly waiting for? The karda. The bitter gourd? Yeah. You like the bitter gourd? Yeah. Okay. Alright friends, let me tell you, Shiva was eagerly waiting to harvest bitter gourd as it is his favorite dish and look how excited he is. So first of all, this is... Okay, long. <gasps> oh, that is so long. Right? Yeah, but it was. This one's fat. So friends, plants require a lot of attention. Learning how to care for plants properly, right from watering to harvesting, is a great lesson in responsibility for kids. I was amazed to see Shiva's attention, especially towards bitter gourd, as it is his favorite. The kind of love and care he was showing, he was asking me not to touch the baby bitter gods. Here is why. I will not touch you, if just you put it. touch it, it, it will not grow. Okay, <laughs> I will not touch it. <gasps> this is the Don't touch it. Okay, I will not touch it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this is the biggest bitter gourd. Cool. Touch it no. You sure we should eat this? Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's yellow, but I am also not sure why did it turn yellow. We'll because see. we touched it. We touched it? Yes. <laughs> Look at these. We should these not are, touch it? These are the literal first ones. Oh. They turned this. Oh my. Nice observation, Shiva. It's a lot of butterflies. I wonder where the caterpillars are, right oh, Shiva? Wait, oh here's one. 
Yeah. You see that butterfly? Yeah. You see that butterfly? Saw one when I was Rama butterfly. Whoa. Oh, you're. Amma, look at this. It's even bigger than the others. Wow. I think it's 11 inches, 10 inches. Yeah. Kasi dega thar haat kasi kahe rahi. Almost. Wow. And gardening also develops math skills. For example, how far apart should seeds be planted? How much water does each plant need? And so on. How many inches do you think? Four, five, six, six seven, eight, almost seven, eight or nine, eight. I think so. Yeah. Nine inches. Nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches? So I think it's one. Yeah. Wait, Amma. Ah. Is this one ready? Of course. So. Okay, it's over here. Shiva, you see this spider? Shiva, you okay. see this spi spider? Where is it? Huh. Spider, spider. Whoa! It's daddy long leg. Daddy Wait. long leg? <laughs> Let me. Huh. Alright friends, let's move on to harvesting bottle gourd. This is bottle gourd, right? This is, yeah, this is bottle gourd and it's the fattest plant. <laughs> what did you observe here? Did, did you Soft touch those? leaves uh -huh. and thick um, Those are stem. thick, right? Stem? Yeah. And stringy vines. Stringy vines, yeah. You keep uh, observing and predicting, right? Will they go this way or will they go this way? Is the bottle gourd ready? It's pretty huge. Um, okay, see, see. This is good. Good? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So friends, we are growing bottle gourd for the first time. And we are so happy to harvest them. And we are surprised to see how huge it leaves were. Actually, we learned a lesson that only two or three plants will be fitting in this earth box as they require a lot of water. Drooping, Shiva, did you see? Yes. If there is no water, Whoa, they are drooping. Oh no, leaves are drooping. Leaves are drooping. Did you see that? And they're so soft. All right, friends. Let's move on to harvesting okra or lady's finger. Benda, yes. Lady's finger. Okra. 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 Alright friends, yeah. gardening is full of sensory experiences. Be it visually observing big and small things, different colors, and also children will touch soil, walk barefoot. All these things help them to grow healthy, physically and mentally. So friends, if you want to know more, I have provided a lot of detailed information in my previous video how gardening affects child's mind, body and soul. I have updated the links in the description box oh below. Wow. Please do check it out. Is it fresh vegetables? Fresh vegetables in the whole world. In the whole wide world? Fresh vegetables? Yeah, I'm going to put it in. <laughs> you are going to put it in? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is yummy. Come on guys. Come on guys. Okay. Let's go Rama. Come on, come on guys, I'm coming. It was a sense of wonder for our entire family to see these okra grow in this manner. Yeah, right. Mine is so way longer. Mine is much longer. Is so All right, friends, let's move on to harvesting potatoes. <laughs> Chitti is digging potatoes. <laughs> uh, compared to last year, this year also we had a good harvest of potatoes. Alright friends, let's move on to harvesting corn. And what do you think about this corn, Shiva? Come here. Yeah, this yeah, corn is... Grow five feet. What do you think? When will they... They're bigger than me. They're bigger than you? Also friends, when you grow your own food, children will show more interest in trying new foods. Like if you notice, here Ram wants to eat the corn, which he never tasted before. I want to eat. You want to eat? Yeah, I want to eat. Okay. Why are you doing it? Bye. I liked it. You liked it? It's hot, Rama? No, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Has it taken? Let me pull. Then I saw you immediately. Okay. So tiny. Good. It's good? 
Yes, good. Yes, good. Yes, good. Baby corn manchuria. Oh, I can make baby corn manchuria? Yeah. You want me to? In the month of September, it is fall season and already the leaves started changing their colors. But we had a good harvest of all the vegetables in just two and a half months. This is like an ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it minty? Is it minty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the bowl lele ja. All right, friends. Now let's move on to harvesting jalapenos. Getting both my children to connect to nature is like bringing them experience their own inner self. It was such a wonderful experience to watch my kids' joyful faces while harvesting the vegetables. Wow! Wow! You work. Um, Rama, count, two, come. Three, four, five, six, Coming. seven, eight, nine. Mama? Yeah. Let's make bhaji. No. Mirchi bhaji. Awesome. Yeah. It's going. All right, friends. Now let's move on to our all-time favorite methi or fenugreek plant. Don't pull it. Yeah. Down. It is ready to get harvested. You see how long it has grown. Okay, Rama. What are these? Rama, roots. Can you see the roots? Yeah. Ah, roots. So friends, time spent in the garden with your kids is invaluable. It provides exercise, mental and sensory stimulation, education, and you can cherish lifelong memories. So friends, we left this methi plant to bloom. And to our surprise, if you notice here, we have also got dried methi seeds. Wait, Rama, wait. This is dried one. Dried one. So, Milly, our dried one? Milly, right? Dried one. Kita strong. See, these are very strong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Methi seeds. What's methi? Look at me. Huh? Eight. Wow. Eight. Wow. Ram, give me Milly, right? I found the squishy and lilac. Yellow, yeah. I found the green and lilac. <laughs> green and yellow. <laughs> Okay, Alright friends, here are a few glimpses of relishing those fresh curries in our backyard. So I made this methi bhaji and we relished eating it with chapati. Also with our fresh mint, I made mint pani for pani puri and we cherished this memory by relishing them in our backyard. We even had a full brunch on a Sunday morning in our backyard, relishing the dishes of our garden fresh vegetables. Alright guys, all these joyful experiences were made possible by my husband's passion towards gardening. I am so grateful for that. My kids and I also enjoyed every stage of the process of gardening and everything in this backyard you see is carefully designed and done by my husband be it building the retaining wall or the sprinkler system or the grass. He inspired and motivated us and we worked as a family and cherished so many memories that we will remember throughout our lives. It was a sheer joy to see our kids helping, especially Ram working happily and singing. Look how small he is. All these gardening experiences which my children had in their early years of their childhood will form a part of their soul and help them explore life to its fullest potential and also develop a love for gardening which is very priceless. There's a beautiful quote by Maria Montessori, the child is both a hope and a promise for mankind. So let's get together, make our children or our future generation more healthier physically and mentally so that they explore life to their fullest potential, so that they bloom, flourish and stay happy. Alright guys, if you have any questions regarding what you have seen in this video, please write them down below in the comment section. I would love to answer them. And if you found this video helpful or you have enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Also one last thing, let me know what is your child's favorite dish or a vegetable in the comment section below. I would love to read them. Alright guys, that completes our gardening with kids video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you get a notification when I publish my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye, take care.